Morphling, but versus AA, it's yeah. always a risk. It, nothing really feels good for Tomato. They've been really spot on with their bands coming in from two base. We could maybe see them reach all the way for the Naga, but okay, they're going to go with the Anti Mage. I was sort of hesitant with saying that hero just because versus Nyx Assassin, it's always a little bit scary because. Yeah, Tugu's willing to commit for it. He should be able to get in there with that. Actually, he doesn't have to mana for the Rocket Barrage, but it's not going to matter. Yeah. The right clicks will get it done. Nicely played by Dubu, just... Does need to be cautious about showing, and it was a lot of mana used, but very simply, they just popped the salve onto Tomato, and top lane as well, Moonmaner is able to find these picks. Down to that bottom dire triangle, and... Lee. Oh yeah, bottom. Might be in some trouble. Tomato, that was a nice play initially. He blinked over where Monkeys had... The, uh, excuse me, had been placing the split earth initially, but... Monkeys actually cancels out the stun. He was able to connect with it later on, so Tomato does still get locked down, and he will fall. Tomato's dead, now Dubu... Maybe in some trouble as well. That homing missile will buy him some time, but with both Flea and Monkeys chasing him down, they might be able to catch him anyway. Speaking of catching heroes, though, up top, both Boris and Jubei taken down. Saberlight and Moonmeander getting help from Bryle as the Tiny rotated his way in. So Undying are able to pick up two, but now back in the south side jungle, Dubu should finally be taken down. Monkeys and Flea are eventually able to catch up to him, and Moonmeander oh, comes moon. in for the... Sp Ooh. Comes in for the arrow, he takes down the Siege Creep, but now he's got to actually get out, and that's not going to work. The leap charges are not enough. Boris hits him up with the Wraith Fire Blast, but Bryle... Too. They want to try and get some counterplay going. Boy, yeah. Boris bought him. He got arrowed. Uh, well, wait, he did? Yes, he did. He got arrowed up, Boris. He's okay. Dead. No mana for the ult, either. That and Flea make their way mid. They're going to try and defend that Tier 1 tower. The problem is, uh, Monkey comes from... Uh, excuse me, Monkeys comes from the wrong direction, pushing in from the north, so they sort of cut him off. Dubu and Bryle get in onto him with the Avalanche Toss into the Rocket Barrage, and... That is going to be Monkeys taken down. That leaves the tier 1 now vulnerable again, and Undying will be able to get it. Now they want more. Bryle in with the Avalanche. Can he get the toss to follow it up on the flea? Yes, he Ooh. can. Homing Missile coming out as well. That's going to stun up the Nyx Assassin a second time, and he's just straight up dead. No way out with four heroes surrounding him. Place. Oh, yeah, he's going to get the Moonstone underneath him. Stunned up. Can they get the follow up? Yep, Wraith Fire Blast is there. Tomato, though, able to blink away. But here, here comes the Ice Blast. Can they actually connect? No, Tomato will dodge it, but over in the middle lane, Bryle was able to find the kill onto I Annihilate, so they set monkeys. up on multiple sides of the map, and yeah, Monkeys, he's just gonna get caught. Avalanche comes in, into the toss, into the homing missile, and Dubu with the Rocket Barrage will be able to find that kill, so they take down both the Bristle and the Leshrac. He stops for the Couriers first, but it's not gonna matter. He gets both of the Couriers and the kill, and now Boris, no, 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 you do not want to be here. Oh, he's gonna get tossed onto the Beastmaster. There it is. Does Saberlight have the ult? Yes, he does. The roar is there. They're going to want to save it, though, for the second life. So, trying to manage these resources as they get through the reincarnation. I Annihilate, though, is going to push over here, but the roar is still deployed. The homing missile will come in as well, and I don't know if Boris can live, as they are just absolutely hammering away with that damage. Saberlight gets the kill. Dubu, I believe, is going to be sacrificed here on the back end, but at this point, his death is straight up not going. Be accelerating even further, he's going to take this stack as soon as that Battle Fury is complete as well, and his teammates are looking for a kill on the Jubei. They hit him up with the roar, and this is going to be about as easy a kill as you can possibly get. The cold feet will come out, but... Uh, and Spirit Vessel going to be built on, and Flea was able to finally make a play, but Bryle... Oh, Bryle in Ooh. there to try and break it up. Wild Axes actually don't hit onto Flea. Dubu, though, going to throw down the call down. That's going to slow up by Annihilate a little bit. Dubu should still be falling, but Undying, they got to wonder, do they really want to take this fight? Tomato's thinking about it. He wants in. He's going to go for Monkeys. That... Mana Void did almost no damage, but they're still going to be able to find the kills. Bryle comes in for the Avalanche Toss combo. Monkeys and Flea both taken down. Tomato, meanwhile, was able to blink himself away. Two for two trade technically favors two base, but they did end up losing a little bit more there, and now the fight's not done. Bryle goes in for the kill onto Jubei. I Annihilate should be able to finish off Moonmander in exchange. There we go. At least on that front, he will be successful. Meanwhile, up top, Saberlight goes for the Roar. Flea hit him with the Vendetta, but doesn't actually get the stun in, and now there's Bryle with that Avalanche Toss. Flea dead. Monkey's gone as well. The Ice Blast is really too late and Boris. Really okay this is good they see he's got saber light. Saber light. not gonna be able to get himself away no blink no bkb so he's just straight up caught his boar tried to finish off that tier 2 tower but it will survive with 92 hp so good play from two based second fight and they're gonna run right into Bryle and dubu are they ready for this though avalanche toss Ooh, coming nice in carapace. monkeys though able to well heal himself up good carapace from flea as you said that's gonna stun up the tiny ones to get the cold feet down onto him as well and that's gonna be Bryle dead that's just dubu's gyro so they're not going to be able to stop it. Roshan will go down. I Annihilate gets the Aegis and Annihilate, but right oh. now he's just serving as a distraction mid while Dubu is going to get jumped in on up top. Flea, though, he already used the Impale, so Dubu... Yeah, oh, okay. we'll take down. Yep. Ice Blast still gets him, so they can really hold as... Oh, my God. Saberlight. Oh, wow, they're doing this. They're, okay, they're going to throw him in. They're looking for the Roar. The arrow will connect as well, and Flea, he's just straight up dead, but reinforcements are coming. They arrive. The Vendetta's going to be out of time, so Flea does go in for the hit into the stun, but... 
Bryle's a pretty tanky boy, but now here comes the Wraith Fire Blast. Saberlight, not going to help his teammate. He's actually just going to look for the TP home. So Bryle oh, is really left stun. to defend himself, and he's getting stun locked here. Split Earth comes in, Impale connects as well, and they've got him. So just long enough for his reinforcements to arrive. It's just incredible patience from Flea, and it's Boris really making it work with this Blink Dagger. He's queuing up an MKB now. I Annihilate also just tracking down Moon Meander. He had to use all of his leaps before bottom, so not being able to escape nearly as easily as he would have wanted. And they make it. Saberlight cutting his way through the tree line. Meanwhile, Dubu uh, gonna reveal himself there. I think that's honestly the better tactical oh, play. Ooh. It's so close. It will be the better tactical play if Saberlight actually gets out, but he's got to continue waiting. Flea, though, is going to spot him. They see it out. Yep, they got him. They just got him. There it is. Perfect. Saberlight stunned up. Boris blinks in. He's going to get down the damage. Wraith Fire Blast coming through as well into the splitter stun, and Saberlight will be taking down. That Essence Ring will delay it, but can't actually stop it. So the Butterfly obviously going to be useful as Tomato jumps oh, in on the Jubei, but if he runs directly into that Wraith King, life is going to be difficult for him, as I believe the Aegis just timed out. Tomato, though, still pushes the forward. Bombs. Goes in for the mana void. Monkeys Forever will be taken away, and he's still going to connect. And Bryle, he'll push his way forward. Avalanche coming through. It only hits up onto Flea, though. But now the Roar, okay. Roar's going to lock him down. Mana being burned away as Tomato gets into the fight. Ion Eye going to get slowed up here as well. Trying desperately to get himself oh, away as what, what was that stun? Holy crap, Flea. That was a four-man stun that he throws down there. Saberlight and Moonmander are going to get turned on and taken down. Bryle gets his TP canceled. <laughs> but uh, with the bullwhip for the extra move speed, he is going to be able to outrun pretty much everybody, and Dubu does eventually tick down as the out. Ice Blast does get him. Wasn't a direct connection, but still applies that status, and Wait, Dubu Saberlight? will fall. Sa Saberlight? Saberlight, what are you doing? You gotta get stunned up. That's what he's doing. Cold Feet is gonna stun him up. Split Earth comes through as well, and he's gone. That! Tomato is able to be consistently good at it, Rhyle. and are they gonna force his BKB bottom? They, he has to use it. There's no Tomato's way out. waiting. I mean, Monkeys has the Aghanim shard, so yeah, he needed it. Here. But yeah. All right, BKB comes through, Tomato blinks in, Mana Void dropped, and Monkeys will fall. So they handle that quite nicely. The Tomato Illusions are actually continuing to get some damage uh, in the aftermath of that play. But now Tomato... And up until... Yeah, they got him mm. with the cleave. He's out of mana. That's a problem. He has nowhere to go, no mana to blink, no really anything to defend himself. He's just dead. And if we'll be popped Jubi on the Simply 2 dagger. base side. There goes Flea jumping in onto Bryle. Where's the follow-up right now? Uh, okay, They're there it is. They get the stun into the Ice Blast. Saberlight, meanwhile, on the other side is in a little bit of trouble. He's going to be run down by monkeys. This is so much fighting across the map. Ryle is still in danger down bot. The BKB was activated, but he's not actually going for the blink. Or... Oh, he's just dead to support. Oh, no, no blink, no TP. He just sits there and waits. Clutch shard pickup. As always, oh, he going in. Yes, he is. He goes for the stun. They're actually going to go in onto Dubu instead, as that is the far easier kill. So they're able to lock down the gyrocopter. That does buy enough time for the other cores to fall back, although Bryle. He hasn't left yet. This could get a little bit scary for him, but it doesn't look like Tubase realized he's here, so he's going to try and sneak his way in. Oh, okay. No more sneaking. Oh. Jubei hits him up with a sentry. It is going to cost him his own life, but now maybe monkeys can grab him. Oh, God, the cold feet. He still has BKB TP, but I don't think there's enough chain. Yeah. Yeah, okay. He's out. And meanwhile, bottom. Boris, he has the shard, but they did make a play here. All right. Reincarnation, bringing him back up. Can he get back in time? Uh, he's actually kind of looking like he wants to try and he can sort of just outclass oh, you. Oh, Boris. Well, Boris might lose the reincarnation again here. Okay. Able to blink himself away for now, but the homing missile is still going to connect out Tomato in onto the back line. Taking down Flea first. The gem will hit the deck, and Tomato, he's trying to go to work here, but he's actually going to get stunned up himself. Manta, though, will get him out of it. He's able to blink himself away, but now his teammates need to sort of pick up the slack. Saberlight coming in, dropping the roar down onto the Wraith King. Still haven't gotten through that first ult yet, so the reincarnation has yet to be used, and it looks like this one is really just going to break up. Dubu TPs away. The rest and that's something they constantly need to be a little bit cautious of when they get the initiation on in monkeys. Uh, monkeys he's just dead here. He's got nowhere to go. The BKB was still on cooldown. Tomato seems like the split push is finally paying off. Even though they got that mid racks, it just continues to be an issue. And oh, oh they're making tomato. a big attempt. Tomato, they've got him. They hit him up with yeah. the ice blast into the cold feet proc. He's dead. Tomato will go down, and now, yeah, that's the cue to leave. Everyone else from Undying, just bail out now. Saberlight just demand attention in these fights. Is down bot. Yeah, we do see Boris jumping in. They're going to take down oh, the... Perfect. Oh, man. They take down the gyro first. They got Saberlight as well. He tries cool. for the TP now. Needs the bash, the abyssal. There it is. Nice. Abyssal Blade stun comes through. Beastmaster taken down. So they take Roshan. They get Aegis. They get Cheese. They get a Refresher Shard. He does a buyback. 
And now he's oh, got a Dubu. BKB as well. Is he going to look to jump in onto Dubu? I annihilate the... He just doesn't care. He well and truly did not care about There's that. But now, though. he may want to care about that. Yeah, the break comes through. Ryle in with the play there. But the Aegis is going to get him back up. Good stun in from Flea. The Roar, though, will still be deployed. So I Annihilate still in a little bit of trouble here. But now the reinforces right. Boris coming in. But the Mana Void will be there. Jubei, however, throwing in that Ice Blast. Is that going to be enough? They've taken Dubu down. Boris did get his ult popped. But he's back up with the Reincarnation. So two based. They lose the Aegis. They lose the ult on the Wraith King. But outside of that, it's only Monkeys who goes down. And yet, yeah, Smart Glyph coming out. Tomato, though. Oh, no. Oh, no. Tomato, he gets stunned up. He's going to hit by the Ice Blast. He might just be dead. BKB doesn't get popped. He's gone, and there's no buyback. He doesn't have the money for it. This Wait is an absolute second. disaster. Saberlight is dead as well. They're... What do they do? Saberlight will buy back, but it's going to be him and Bryle. They don't have that primary damage shielder in Tomato. And you still got to deal, uh, deal with I Annihilate and Boris, who has two lives up again. As that reincarnation. Flee. Oh, Flea, come on. That's just not fair. Hitting him up with the two man stun. Moon Meander dead. Saberlight gone as That's well. It. It's over. There is nothing more that they can do here. When do they call it at this point? Bryle, he's going to give it a go, but Spike Carapace stuns him up. Splitter oh, comes through as well, so and he's simple. gone. <laughs> GG will be thrown out there, and that's it. Simply two based, able to draw this one one to one. This is the win they needed. This is exactly what they needed to get out of today.